Hello there. Thank you for joining me. This is the first in a series of videos I'll be making on the various knives used in traditional cooperage. Today we're going to focus on the hollowing knife. This tool goes by other names including the belly knife, the round shave, or simply the name for this overarching class of tools, the draw knife. The tool has a curved blade that's used for cutting the inside face of staves. Staves are the pieces of wood that form the walls of coopered vessels. For white cooperage, the staves are listed or tapered in two directions forming a compound angle from end to end and towards the center of the vessel with the angles converging at the center line of the vessel. White cooperage is so named because these vessels were typically used around the dairy and the home. Here's a fun piece of trivia for you, but rather than revealing it here, I'll pose the question now and reveal the difference in a future video. What is the difference between a bucket and a pail? Prior to embarking on my journey into traditional cooperage, I thought it was merely a matter of personal preference if someone called a vessel with a handle or a bail a bucket or a pail. However, there is a historical difference and a reason for each. I will offer that both have all the same parts and are made from all the same materials and it's not a matter of size. Let your answer in the comments below and tune into the next video to see if you got the answer right. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be alerted when I release that video. For building casks, such as this little fellow, the staves are tapered from the center of the stave and become narrower on either end. This tapering or list is what gives casks their typical belly or the bilge, as we call it, the center. Another term Cooper's use for this is the boob. These knives may be shop made locally or purchased from the commercial market and are produced in a variety of shapes ranging from deep and narrow to shallow and wide. The two most prominent makers of Cooper's tools were William Greaves and Sons of Sheffield, England and David R. Barton from Rochester, New York, right here in the United States. Barton's tools may be stamped with DR Barton or simply D Barton. Narrower knives such as this little fellow are great for hollowing the staves of smaller vessels with a tight radius such as buckets and pails, but the wider, shallower knives may only be used with larger casks such as barrels and hogsheads where we have a much larger radius. In the next installment of Traditional Cooperage, I'll be discussing the counterpart to the hollowing knife, the backing knife. I look forward to having you join me for that video where I will reveal the answer to today's trivia question. And that question again is, what's the historical difference between a bucket and a pail? Let your answer down in the comments and we'll see how many people know. I'll see you then, thanks.